murder. He, he was, was taken into custody, custody this morning and is awaiting, is awaiting transport to the Luce Sterrett Justice Center to be processed. Riser was on the, has been on the department since August 2008 and was assigned to the South Central Patrol Division. Although he's in custody, Riser is pending the outcome of an expedited internal affairs investigation. This, investi this criminal investigation dates back to 2017 with the death of two unrelated murder victims. We received information through a witness that implicated Riser in both murders. The first murder occurred on March 10, 2017 when officers responded to 200 Santa Fe Avenue and found a female victim deceased in the water. The female victim was later identified as Lisa Sines. She had been shot several times. On August 14, 2019, a witness stated that he, had, that, he, that, he had, that he kidnapped and murdered the victim at the direction of Riser. The witness also stated that Riser instructed him to kidnap and murder a second victim by the name of Albert Douglas. Mr. Douglas was reported missing by his family in February of 2017. According to witnesses, he was also kidnapped and murdered in the 200 block of Santa Fe Avenue. Unfortunately, his body was never recovered. The motive for these murders are unknown at this time. This remains an ongoing investigation. Further details of this investigation will be released later today with the arrest affidavit. Before we open it up to, to questions, and again, uh, this is an ongoing investigation, so there could be some questions I can answer and some that I cannot, but let me conclude by saying uh, that there's an old adage in police work uh, that says that no one hates a bad cop more than a good cop. We hire individuals from the human race, and when we find individuals such as this, it's the actions that we take afterwards that we should be judged by. We will hold ourselves accountable to the highest levels. We will stand tall in front of you in good times and in times of crisis. I want to thank the Federal Bureau of Investigation who assisted us on this case. The actions that have been investigated in no way reflect the actions of the men and women who proudly wear this uniform, and it certainly does not reflect on the heroic, professional, and dedicated sacrifices that I have witnessed since arriving. However, let me stand and let me be clear in a promise to our city and to our men and women who serve with honor on a daily basis that we will not allow anyone to tarnish this badge. As we all know, the actions of the few affect the many. I, we, have committed to you in taking the criminal element off of the streets of the city of Dallas to perform relentless follow-up on anyone who does harm to this city, and that includes within the walls of this police department. And with that, I'll open it up to some questions. Uh, from my understanding, it's been with us since about 2017. I'm going to assume that the previous administration knew, yes. Chief, how long has he been on administrative leave? Since he was taken into custody this morning. So he had been out patrolling the community while he was under investigation for murder? Yes, he was. Yes. Well, I will tell you this, this individual is arrested for capital murder. We're going to expedite our, our process uh, so that this individual is no longer with, to, with the department as quickly as possible. Chief, what can you tell us about the connection between this officer and his victims? Uh, for, again, it's early in the stage of the investigation. We knew that uh, at least one of the victims that he had a relationship with. Uh, and again, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of follow-up that's been done to corroborate a lot, uh, but I can't go into everything right now as things are ongoing. The homicide unit is still actively investigating this case, along with the FBI. Chief, to be clear, these are two separate murders that are not related at all to his police work. At the time. Absolutely not. They were related to his off-duty conduct. And they're two separate incidents. They're two separate incidents. Yes. Can you Uh, the first murder was on March 10th, 2017, and the second one, um, actually both murders occurred in 2017.
I believe that he was identified as a suspect in 2019. Yeah, so it's... Well, I think, I think, I think the terminology is important. Uh, he doesn't become a murder suspect until we have enough information to find probable cause that he is a murder suspect. Uh, the fact that he was uh, a person of interest, uh, I think it's very important. I think the community should know that this police department wants to be as thorough as possible because we certainly don't want someone slipping through the cracks that has no business wearing this uniform. Uh, and so he's a person of interest until he becomes a suspect. Uh, and that's what the diligent uh, work of our homicide detectives and the FBI were trying to do. We will, we will, one more thing, we will be looking uh, at the activity that he conducted as a police officer and his arrest as well uh, to ensure uh, that, uh, that everything was, that there was nothing there visible and take a look at those arrests as well. No. No, it's not. Yes. And I can't go into that case. Just if anyone is going to ask that. Chief, what's the next step as far as his job status? You said he's on leave. What's the next step? The next step, we're conducting an administrative investigation uh, as quickly as possible uh, and moving forward towards termination. I, I, I can't make it more clear than that. Uh, this individual has no business wearing this uniform. Uh, and that's just not me, says police chief. I guarantee you, every man and woman that wears this uniform and does this job honorably uh, does not want anyone tarnishing our badge. Chief Garcia, is our understanding that he was under investigation uh, with internal affairs for the family violence uh, incident that he was arrested for in 2017? Do you know what was the outcome and discipline in that? I can tell you that uh, he was disciplined for it, and I can't go into that, the specifics of that case. There were acquaintances. Yeah, at, at this point, that's all we can, that's all we talk about. They were still open. Here, but have you ever experienced anything like this before, ever, at all? I mean, this like you've seen a movie. This particular incident or the last four weeks? Well, no, just with this officer. <laughs> and the last four weeks. Uh, you know what? Uh, it comes with the territory. Uh, you know what, again, like I mentioned, uh, we, we hire from the human race. There's not a police chief in America that can look you in the eye and tell you that there aren't officers in the organizations that have no business wearing this uniform. And the important thing about it is we need to find those individuals. When we find them, it's the actions that we take that I believe all of us need to be judged by. All right, thank you. We will uh, continue that with the TCA. Thank you. Uh,